Welcome back. In the previous video, we learned how to navigate to different routes using the link component. For the most part, it is pretty much all you need. However, at times, you might need to programmatically navigate to a particular route. For example, let's say you're placing an order on Amazon. If the form submission is successful, you would be navigated to the order confirmation page. Now the scenario can hold good for any type of form submission as well and is definitely needed in one or the other production applications. In this video, let's learn how to do that with Next.js. Now we don't have an e-commerce website or a form to submit. So let's assume that is the scenario and implement a button click handler from where we programmatically navigate to a different route in our application. For our example, on click of a place order button in the home page, let's navigate to the product list page. Back in VS Code, in the home page, I'm going to add a button. Place order. Next, let's add a click handler. On click is equal to handle click and let's define the handler. Const handle click and within the function body, let's assume the order was placed successfully. So log statement, placing your order and then after the log statement, the user should be navigated to the product list page. Now to programmatically navigate with Next.js, we go back to our old friend, which is the use router hook. So at the top, import use router from next router. And then within the component, const router is equal to use router. On this router object, we can access the push method, passing in the required route as an argument. For our example, we want to navigate to slash product. So after the console log, router dot push, and the route is slash product. If you now save the file, head back to the browser and click on the place order button, we are navigated to the slash product route. This is pretty much how you can programmatically navigate in a Next.js application. At the moment, we are passing in slash product as the argument, but any of the values we have passed to the href attribute so far are all valid. So we can navigate to nested routes, dynamic routes, and even catch all routes. And if at all, you want to replace the history instead of pushing the route onto the stack, you can use router.replace. So instead of router.push, router.replace. The behavior is similar to that of the link component with the replace prop set to true. An example we looked at in the previous video. All right, I hope you now have a much better idea of the routing feature in Next.js. There is one more topic to cover, which we will discuss in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.